This is Ashley with Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 anime guaranteed to make you cry. For this list, we're gonna take a dive into the anime that will have you weeping by the end, but leave you thankful for the experience. Prepare yourself for some spoilers here. Did we miss any key tearjerker? Let us know in the comments. And as always, you can catch me on Twitter at AshJPo, so head over there, give me a follow, and let me know which anime list you wanna see next. <laughs> Number 10, Plastic Memories. What happens when you make artificial intelligence as emotionally competent as a human? A whole lot of philosophical issues. In spite of humanity and androids living in harmony, due to their shortened lifespan, certain androids try to escape their fate and live longer lives, in spite of the inevitable mental decay. Pair that with our lead duo, who just so happened to be a human and android combo, with developing feelings for one another, and you have the equation for a whole lot of ugly crying. Number 9, Your Lie in April. Talents can be a lonely thing, especially when it's born of unspoken trauma. Starting off as rivals with immense skill in their chosen instrument, Kosei and Karu's budding friendship and eventual romance bloomed into one of the most enchanting experiences of the last decade. Too bad life likes to get in the way, with their own personal issues rising up to bring the feels in between the symphonies. While it remains a gorgeous example of a character-driven rhapsody, its sour notes will undoubtedly have you welling up before April passes. Number 8. A Place Further Than The Universe Making the most out of youth, the inevitable fear of change, and what it means to be an adult, get ready to be faced with all these terrifying prospects as four friends find themselves heading out to Antarctica for one last hurrah. While the icy landscape makes for a breathtaking backdrop, what's truly compelling is how this new circle of friends learn to lean on each other and tackle their individual worries as adulthood draws ever closer. The triumphs, sufferings, and uncertainties that come with passion are all laid bare here, so prepare to have your tears turn into icicles. <laughs> Number 7, Made in Abyss, Dawn of the Deep Soul. We thought we were prepared, we thought we knew what to expect, and then Prushka happened, and we were left heartbroken. As their descent into the infamous abyss continues, Reg, Rico, and Nanachi come face to face with the hauntingly psychotic Bondrude. The White Whistle, previously shown to have no issue when it came to experimenting on children if it meant unlocking the secrets of the Abyss. Everything amazing and heartbreaking about the series can all be found in this sequel movie, and that includes tragedies you won't be able to handle. <laughs> Number 6, 
Number 6. Anohana, the flower we saw that day. People come, people go, people change. Following the death of the adorable Menma, what had once been a solid group of friends go their separate ways, only to be reunited years later after her ghost appears, unable to pass on until she can recall her last wish. This thing is one painful moment after the other, as Jinta and the rest are forced to face up to their individual guilt over the part they played in losing Menma. It makes for a transformative, if uncomfortable, watch and will no doubt tug at you in the deepest way as everyone's inner turmoil starts to boil over. Number 5. Clanad After Story We have sex and sex makes babies! <sighs> if you thought Tomiya's initial romp through life was depressing, just wait until you see him try to tackle family life. While filled to the brim with all manner of charming character moments and humor, After Story holds nothing back, layering grief and misfortune between the narrative lines. You're not running today, Daddy? Nope, I'm gonna stay right here with you all day long. Even if you fight tooth and nail to find happiness with the one you love and are able to bring a bundle of sunshine into the world, that doesn't mean life won't hesitate to rip it all away when given the chance. Yay. Daddy, hmm? I love you. Yeah. Daddy loves you too, you feel very much. <laughs> Number four, Violet Evergarden. What does it mean to love someone? To understand the nature of the human heart? These are the questions that plague Violet as she starts her new life going from weapon of war to auto-memory doll, a ghost riser who eloquently puts the feelings of others onto paper. Between her many encounters with clients and the letters she types, Violet is exposed to all the beauty and fragility that comes with life, and it's not an easy pill to swallow. Nobody survives episode 10 without breaking down. Nobody. Number 3. To Your Eternity When the very first episode is enough to cause widespread weeping, you know this isn't going to make for easy viewing, no matter how gorgeous it is to behold. An entity capable of assuming the form of whatever it sinks with, Fushi's progression through this world of contrasting cultures and unfathomable unknowns exposes him to everything from loneliness, ritual sacrifice, the kindness of strangers, and the beauty of monsters. It covers just about every ugly and meaningful thing about humanity, making it a joy to behold even through a veil of tears. <laughs> Number 2. Grave of the Fireflies A moment in time that brings into focus how the consequences of war can devastate the lives of children and innocents alike, siblings Seta and Setsuko's struggle for survival following their parents' death in World War II strikes an agonizing chord. While dotted with pockets of hope throughout, watching brother and sister ultimately succumb to starvation never gets any easier, with only their reunion in the next life providing a modicum of comfort. And yet, if you haven't watched it, you owe it to yourself to give it a chance.
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. A Silent Voice By this point, we're pretty sure that Yoshitoki Oima just loves to make us suffer. How else do you explain how she's able to craft such beautiful, potent, yet soul-shattering tales? <laughs> A deeply personal tale of seeking retribution and learning to love oneself after his life falls apart in the wake of excessive bullying of a deaf girl, Ishida endeavors to make amends. Bringing a new perspective to a bitter reality that everyone has faced, this film finds the ideal balance between sorrow and hope, to the extent that by the end, you'll have a million reasons to cry. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.